Hi everybody, you're very welcome back to Law Hero. My name is Jen and I make videos about the law. And today we're talking about developing your brand because that is something we are all told to do, but it is not really always so clear how to do that. So that's what we're going to talk about in this video. So um, the most important thing in life is knowing yourself and that's what Socrates said and that's why I call my dog Socrates. But it is true, the more you know who you are, the more the easier it is to develop a brand so step one is know who you are how do you find out who you are it comes over time it comes through trial and tribulation it comes through successes and failures perceived failure because there is no such thing as real failure if you spend the time getting to know yourself and who you are what your likes and dislikes are then you will be able to develop a brand so the reason developing a brand is important is because you need to come across in a certain way so that other people instantly understand what kind of person you are. They'll understand your strengths and limitations and your ambitions. Developing your brand is about how you bring these factors together, uh, use them to differentiate yourself from other people and develop your career. So if you think about any brand, for example, I'll just name a few that I see here in front of me, like, uh, Terry Mugler, um, Sure for Women, Nike, Adobe Acrobat, any of these brands, they've all distinguished themselves through um, their logo, through their services they offer. We know that Adobe Acrobat won't feed your dog for you. We know that Terry Mugler probably won't um, sweep the floor for you. We understand the limitations of the brand, but we also know what the brand stands for and what it can do by just even looking at the logo or seeing its name. And this all comes with giving the right impression. So um, an impression is when your values are consistent um, with the service or product you offer. So for example, I would consider some of my values being uh, empathetic, open, and somebody who is hardworking and those values are consistent with my brand law hero is my professional brand but my personal brand i call it law athlete i would say that those values are reflected in my personal brand and just as a company builds its brand you need to build your own brand you need to have a consistent message and you need to make sure that the message you are giving out is consistent with your personal brand. So for example, if I call myself open, if I go online and say, no, 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 that's not a good idea. I don't like that. I'm opposed to that. That kind of messaging is inconsistent with my um, brand. And that will leave my um the, the people who follow me confused because they um they relate to me because of my values. And if I start changing my values, I will alienate those people who follow me. Um, for example, this is currently happening with the artist Sam Smith. He was always like a big ballad singer, but now because of his uh, transition, into um, the LGBTQ world, he has alienated his um, mainstream audience and now he is moving towards a more, arguably it's more authentic for him, but it's not in line with the branding he initially had. So, you know, he may lose uh, some of his fans and he may feel more authentic and he may lose profit and whatnot, but you can argue that he's alienating um, his initial fan base because of his branding. So um, this is actually exactly the point when I say that Sam Smith is probably being more authentic right now. Um, you don't want to come across as something that you are not. So for example, I never claim to be a scientist or a mathematician because those two things are outside my wheelhouse. Not, not only because I believe they're outside my wheelhouse, but because I genuinely don't enjoy them. I enjoy um you know the science around performance and like sport and things like that but i don't enjoy discussing cells for example and nor will i because it's just it's not who i am and i'm not going to pretend it is who i am um 
I'm also not going to pretend, for example, that I'm an influencer, like that I have this picture perfect life, Instagram life. Um, I have tried to do that, like, and I that's why I struggled so much with vlogging because I just find it so cheesy and inauthentic. And I love making these videos because me nerding out talking about a certain subject in a real abstract sense is way more who I am than filming myself in the gym. Like for example, today there was a girl in the gym beside me filming her workout. And like I'd say she got no workout done simply because she was so worried about her angles. And I was kind of stood beside her and I was like, sweaty and disgusting and like really like heaving because I was lifting heavy weights and I thought to myself like if I was to put this up on camera like that would be the real me but to film it in the first place would not be the real me I have tried it but I find it just so uncomfortable to do it and I really have to push myself and I'm like who am I doing this for ultimately I'm doing it for someone else. I'm not doing it for myself. Whereas these videos I make on YouTube, I 100% do them for myself. I love talking away to myself, figuring things out. I don't do it for likes. I don't do it for views. I get very little of both. And I don't care. It makes me immensely happy to discuss abstract concepts. It's like my dream come true. So your brand has to be something that you are completely comfortable with and it should reflect your values and be uniquely yours. So the next area around this is creating the right look. So what this means is that the way you look, sound and behave are essential to your brand, wherever you're working, paying attention to your appearance, whatever your style, being polite, fulfilling your promises are all musts. Now let's just break that down a little bit. So I would say that um, when it comes to me, for example, paying attention to my brand and my appearance, I would say my appearance is not a big part of my brand. I would say the biggest part of my brand is being um, like myself. I am a little bit lazy when it comes to my appearance. And it's not because like I don't love myself or anything. It's just I don't find it that important. I think you should have like a certain standard of appearance, but like... I would find it exhausting to have like the hair extensions in the whole time, the makeup on the whole time, the eyelashes done the whole time. I do it the odd time, but not, I don't do it 100% of the time because it's just not me. Like I'm filming this at the end of a working day. This is how I've looked all day. And the old me would have put on some makeup or whatever for videos. Now I just don't care because it doesn't matter. A whole lot to me nor should it matter to you shouldn't really matter to anybody the message is what's important um fulfilling your promise yes i agree fulfilling your promise is probably the only way to build a brand and um, especially if part of your brand is like credibility and reliability and those are two things uh, I pride myself on, therefore I value them, therefore they're part of who I am, therefore if I am doing them, then I am living my brand. And the other big part of having a brand is being personable. Nobody likes um, the arrogant, kind of larger than life, uh, I'm better than you, bad tempered, difficult kind of people. And it doesn't matter how good looking or beautiful you are, you can't escape um, a bad first impression. And uh, I was listening to um, a YouTuber talking about Hugh Grant on the red carpet, the way he was kind of snide to the journalist who was asking him about his outfit. It's the Oscars, you get asked about your outfit. And she asked him, what are you wearing? And he said, my suit. Now, obviously, if you were sound, you would say, I'm wearing Tom Ford, it's custom made for tonight. Um, I'm having a really good night. You would play ball. But because he just didn't really want to be there, um, he was being difficult. And even if he was being himself, 
in that context he wasn't helping the journalists out which is what you're paid to do like you're an actor you're paid to be on the red carpet and in that regard I got a bad impression from him I only know him as an actor but like off screen I didn't really know him that well and I thought to myself yeah well like you're in work like if you're an actor and you're on the red carpet you're at work so it's kind of it's kind of a bad impression if you're not playing ball so i found him impersonable for example that's you grant um okay so as i said um the three big parts to defining your brand are looking the part acting the part and sounding the part obviously looking the part is um how you look um your expressions like what you wear your hands all that kind of stuff the physical side acting the part is like your personality and then sounding the part is the words that come out of your mouth do they match your brand uh, i hope you enjoyed this video i hope i gave you some guidance and some inspiration and uh, ask yourself what is your personal brand what are your values and are you living those values every day i'll see you in the next one